It is Friday. It's been a rough Matco week. It's not been a rough week. Y'all done cleared out some space back here. How we did. Had a we, good week. Yeah, we sold the uh, till cart, um, and we've got another box to go there. We're just waiting on it to come in. So, but I have a, I uh, would say a repo box basically that i've got to pick up so uh, i'm leaving it open until i can go get it so there you go it's not necessarily a repo it's kind of like a voluntary repo so yeah um, everybody's got different situations so kind of counts the same but it's not the same i guess you could say so, right but we do have a scanner sale that we're gonna finalize the first of next week so we do have a scanner in for him and that's the big boy, isn't it? Yep, that's the big boy. Now, that one there is just going to be for the car line. It won't have the HD on it, um, but it's still the big boy. It still comes with a lab scope, or a silly scope, I should say. Um, battery tester, all that good stuff. Right. So. Well, that's cool. Well, what new? So, this what week, new? we have the drill bit holder. That's new. It's a magnetic drill bit holder. Um, that's going to be the part number. They do have one in green as well. Holds 29 drill bits. It does fold in half and stands upright. Uh, and it is made of a flexible material. So when we open it up, it holds our drill bits. As you'll see, um, this holds your larger bits. And then we have magnetics for the smaller bit. Hmm. But we also can take it and fold it upright so now we have all of our bigger bits there that's easily displayed it is made of flexible material so it does hold these pretty well but kind of interesting yeah i wonder how long that'll hold up well before it trial and error right <laughs> <You know>? so <laughs> like that's the only thing that worries me because i know You've probably had those plastic cases, and like after yeah. time, the ones that's just that don't have the hinge, it's just the plastic. It's just a matter of time until it. So I thought the same thing. Quit. Well, you see what the warranty is on that. Uh, we literally just opened the box for these this morning, and I thought the same thing. I was like, well, let's see how it holds up. Mm -hmm. But I've been wrong in the past. I could be wrong here. So, <laughs> like I said, trial and error. Um, we're just gonna learn together what the warranty is. It's right there. It's got a one year warranty, uh, 60 bucks ish. So, uh, I don't know how often you're gonna be bending that. Yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't. I know that's one of the features of it, but I don't know why I would wanna do it like that. But if I did, I guess it's able to. Um, but it uses the same technology here, so we're going to find out. Oh, yeah. One way or another. I guarantee you, if somebody's going to find out, a mechanic is going to find out the yes. durability test. Well, and that's just it. We're going to find out. I would think that there'd be some uh, product testing involved, so maybe it did well in the product testing. But we've also seen stuff that passed testing <laughs> with flying colors and then failed miserably. So, look, this is a trial and error, right? Is it? Uh, it does have the magnets on the back, so you could lay it flat and it yeah. could stick or be magnetized to it. So, Like I say, the good advantage of the magnets, like you could have it on your roll top card or whatever and you don't knock it off. Right. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse than a bit set hitting the floor. So Period. A bit <sighs> set or a socket set in a case hitting the floor. You know what I'm probably going to do, and I may be the one person to do this, I'm probably going to put all my drill bits in there. And I'm gonna lay it in my toolbox just like that. Yeah. And that's probably how it's gonna stay. <laughs> yeah. um, now, if I'm working on a car, I got a bolt broke off somewhere, and I'm having to bring out that dreaded 
tap and die set and I'm having to use my drill bits, yeah, I'll probably pick it up, but I'm probably going to lay it somewhere exactly like this. At that point, you're already so pissed off if you drop it and crap goes everywhere. I might break this just because I'm mad. That's what I'm saying. It don't really matter anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it still beats fighting the cases. Because, I mean, there's a few options out there. You have these cases here. And the only thing that I hate about these cases is our habit is, okay, if I burn one up or I broke it, I'm going to stick it back in this case. Well, then it falls down in the bottom. And then you're having trouble getting these out. And then, so that's terrible idea that we mm -hmm. all do um i used to turn my if i had upside burned down. upside yep. down um but i watched a guy for 10 minutes the other day try to get a broken drill bit out of there and i'm like probably shouldn't have put it back in there but either way still beats this case uh i know they also make some um to where they're like a block and you stick them down in there mm -hmm. um, so there's a couple different options this is just another one out there you know it's probably not going to change the world yeah um but if it makes life easier, why not? Like I can say the advantage of that, and that way you can put it in those little shallow drawers that kind of don't do a whole lot for your life. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. That would be one advantage of that. Well, that's the thing, and and we have a couple of different designs on the way our drawers go. But there's only limited stuff you can mm -hmm. put in these. Like you're not putting a big big hammer in there. Yeah. Um, you're not putting a big case. You're not putting a set of sockets in there. So, set of screwdrivers, drill bits, yep. just random stuff that's going to throw in there and fit good. I mean, your wrenches. You know, it ends your up being sets. like a kind of a catch-all drawer. Mine does. Yep. You know, it'll have like the stuff you don't use all the time. Maybe like rulers and calipers and. Well, they even turn into receipt drawers. I've and seen then it you all. have to dig for 20 minutes every time you open it to hunt that one piece yeah so that's it no. something else that was new uh in the box that we opened up this morning um uh, you know we had a two piece of these and they went over well oh yeah those are good so now they've come out with a four piece set with a nice carrying bag um it falls right in line with the drill bit so we'll go right into it mm -hmm. but i do like the way these lock into the drill um yeah, that quick quarter yeah. shank or whatever, and that, yep. is, that is a good idea. So, <clears throat> the other these drill bits, you know, they have the flat sides on them, which mm -hmm. is great too. But you get some of the cheaper drill bits that are just round there. We've yeah. all had it where it's going in and then it catches, catches and, and the drill's just spinning. That'll make you want to throw the drill oh, real yeah. quick, like. So, either that or that's the best option for the mm -hmm. um, drill bit so they're not spinning in the drill. I it, like those step bits. I was a little concerned when I first got them. Yeah. But, dude, they work great, and they last. Like, I don't know what they've done with that blue that's on those. I don't know if it's some kind of heat treatment or whatever, but I, when I was building my building, every hole that went on the outside, now I did a, like, I run disconnect boxes on the outside of it, and then I put rain cameras, like, everything i could think of i went ahead and done it i even put an extra disconnect box outside where i could add a second mini split later if i wanted That's to right. so everything that was on the outside i did with the i bought the two-piece drill bits every hole on the outside of that building was done with that and i thought this thing is gonna burn up it's <laughs> got to burn up but so they last when we buy something and it works right out of the box. Mm -hmm. Our expectation gets uh, stays up high and it yep. stays high, right? Well, funny story with a two-piece. So the very first two-piece that I ever got in, I sold to a guy that works on trailers. And it's exactly what he was looking for. I sell them to him. I get five minutes away from his shop. He calls me and says, hey, I've snapped both of them. Uh-oh. And I'm like, do what? He said, I, I don't know. I've, I've snapped both of them. So in my head, I've already put a negative mark towards them, mm -hmm. right? And that's just something we do. I'm like, well, that ain't good. So I'm like, well, I'll get you some replacements. He's like, no problem. Just want to let you know. So the next week, I show up. I give him the next two, and I'm like, do whatever you did with these. Let's see how they're going to do. We're fixing them. Make it known whether they're good or bad. He's still using that set, and yeah. it's been eight it must months. must have just been a bad... It was just a bad... It was... Maybe the weld was bad on it or something. I don't know. I think, like you said with the heat treat, I don't think the heat treat was completely finished with that because 
I used to watch a show that where they would make knives, and I know that the strength of the metal all depends on the heat treat. And yep. you either make it right or you make it wrong, and I think it was just a bad heat treat. But I almost didn't sell them anymore because I was like, mm. they're going to break that quick. I'm like, I, you know, I've got a reputation to keep myself. People ask me, hey, I'm pissing to spend this much money on something. Yep. Is it good? Well, like the skinny one that's in there, that's what I drilled through to run the anchor bolt for my... I guess you call it service connector or whatever you know that's on the outside that they actually wrap the metal yeah to <clears throat> and uh where you hang your power line and they had like a 12 inch adapter shoved on the end of that and i went through yeah the eight by eight through the metal and everything and it did as good through the wood as it did in the metal. yeah <laughs> so i was like i'm just gonna burn her through that. Be all right. <laughs> that's where i was getting to with these they have been able to not only prove their self you know out of the box good yeah. but after that you know just one bad heat treat on those ones mm -hmm. they were able to work their way back because once you put a bad mark towards something it's tough, you're leery yeah. about it they have to gain the trust again mm -hmm. they i have sold hundreds of the two set and have no fear in them anymore yeah uh, but that that one time there kind of made me leery <laughs> on it but uh after that you know we tried them out he did the exact same thing but as soon as he opened them up and he touched them, he's like, oh, these feel sharper already. So something wasn't something right with was that off, first. Yeah. You know, I don't, you have that. You have mm -hmm. stuff that does that. Um, but I have no doubt that if if the two that they used to sell was as good as they are, the four piece set's gonna be just as mm -hmm. great. And so if you need some, we have them. That's kind of like those airline disconnect tools I had that I bought from you. You know that first one broke like way down in the handle, like yeah. under the the rubber. I think it was just a bad spot in the metal. I mean, yep. it, it happens. You know? Yep, it it happens. Uh, I was just the other day. I I told a guy one of my ratchets, and we all know how good the ratchets mm -hmm. are. They're good ratchets, and I told him um, they're they're great. For some reason, every week when I went, it the he said, "Hey, it fell apart. Hey, it fell apart." And I'm like. I don't know. So, the last time that he brought it out to me, he said, look, come in here and let me show you. I'm like, okay. And he puts it on a bolt. He barely puts any torque on it. It's fine. If he put it in just a slight angle, the head kit popped out. Oh, it must have been something with a snap brain. And I was something. like, wait a minute here. Something's not right. And uh, so, put it all together, looked at it, and the snap ring was not seating fully. And I thought, okay, well, that's probably my fault. No, somehow um, the groove wasn't cut deep enough for the snap ring, so the snap ring was not seating fully. Um, I wonder if it could have been the groove not cut deep enough or something happened in the chroming process. That could be it, too. <clears throat> the The chroming could have been a little thick there. I mean, because that's kind of stuff you really can't control. Right. You know? Like, you don't know what's going to well, pull up there. Well, and anymore. so once he showed me... Because there were some days it lasted three days. There were some times it worked two weeks. Um, so when he showed me, hey, if I put it in any type of angle, that's when it does it. Um, we put a new head on it, and I was going to put a new head on it regardless because it's done come apart right. that many times. But um, once we seen that the snap ring, and I mean, you could tell it. You could look at one of the newer ratchets, and you could tell it just wasn't sitting quite right. It didn't matter how you spun the ring. Um, once we put a new head on it, we went in there and we did it regular. We put it at a torque. I mean, we both pushed on it. We tried to make, make this thing come out. apart. It wouldn't do it. So that's just one of those things that stuff happens. Yep. Um, it's all in how we make it right, right? So it seems like to me, this this is just how my brain works. It don't bother me that that happened as long as I can hand it to you and you can replace it. This, you if know, I have to drive to the post office and box it up and ship it off, that's when I become PC about stuff. <laughs> like, that's an inconvenience. <laughs> and this guy handled it really well. I mean, he never got mad. He owns five or six of our other ratchets. Right. And uh, one of the co-workers was actually blaming it on him. He said, well, he's taking head bolts out with it. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. It's not stripping the gears. It ain't breaking the anvil off. Why is it coming apart? Yeah. Like, I don't care what he's doing with it. I don't care if he's taking a tire off. It's coming apart. It's not breaking. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, the first couple times that it happened, I honestly thought it was me not getting the snap ring in there, right? So when I'd put it together, I'd put snap ring on there. Looks good. Send it on. Uh, and then he'd call me three days later, four days, two weeks. Hey, it come apart again. And I was getting ready to hand him a brand new ratchet. I was like, this, I, this right. one's cursed. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's like, no, nah, just we're going to figure it out. And uh, he, he he's a good customer. Yeah. That's so. good. What? Cool stuff today. Those drill bits got to be good, especially yeah. if you got twice as many to use. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. Like I'm, I like that. Tried and true. They've been tested. That's it. All right, guys. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check out our merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. You have a great weekend. So yeah.